Welcome to the Purpose and Profit Club podcast for nonprofit leaders, mission-driven creatives, and social entrepreneurs. Get ready to stop dreaming and start doing. Here, ideas become action. We prioritize purpose and profit. You ready? Let's go. At the time that I'm recording this, doors are open for my course, Amplify Social Impact. Today, I'm going to give you a behind-the-scenes course tour and tell you more about this program and some of the incredible case studies that we have of students that have gone through this course. This course really ended up being a, a hybrid of marketing and fundraising. So it's really designed and it's really the perfect spot for nonprofits, social impact businesses, or solopreneurs who work, right? Consultants who work for those types of businesses and organizations to join. We have had executive directors, program directors, fundraisers, marketers, board members, volunteers, what did I leave out? Really anyone who's involved in making your mission uh, moving it forward and making this the year that your revenue, your visibility increases. That's who joins. So it has been really interesting because as a marketer, as a business strategist, that tends to be who I speak to, but really who has joined and thrived and had amazing success in this program are those folks and beyond. Like, I love it when when we see people from programs, right? They speak this language too. So Amplify Social Impact is seven modules. I'm going to walk you through those in a second, but I want to give you an overview of this idea of a social street team. This is one of the secrets, one of the pieces that so many nonprofits, and I'm going to just throw out a number, like 99% of nonprofits are not doing. They haven't even heard of this. And this is the piece uh, that is missing in your strategy. And this is the piece of why, if you kind of hate social media, it's because you're not doing this. So many, many people come to me and they are feeling super burned out, super burned out on social media, super burned out on online marketing, super burned out on organic anything. They say to me things like, it's just not working for us. We don't see ROI and I'm spending way too much time doing it, or I have no time to do it, right? Right. And the best news I have for you is I don't want you to spend more time on social media. I want you to actually go through this program and spend less time creating content for content's sake. That is not what we are doing. I created this concept of a social street team, which is really a a twist and inspired by when I worked at a rock venue. And we would call the street team whenever ticket sales were very, very low. And we had a show coming up and we're like, oh my gosh, no one wants to go. See, no artist wants to perform in front of just a handful of people, right? They want that feeling, that sold out crowd, and the crowd wants it too. So we would call our social street team, which was really just grassroots marketing at its best, to come and go to where their ideal audience was hanging out. Now, this was physically. Go hand out flyers, talk about it, go hang out and tell them about the show. And anytime we called the social street team, or the street team rather, we did a huge spike in ticket sales and inevitably what would have been like a pretty sad show would end up being a really amazing show. So what we're doing here is we're saying, let's create you a social street team using the same process, but it's all online. It's all digital. Finding those advocates and champions and online influencers who have engaged audiences on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, it doesn't matter the platform, and leveraging their platforms, their voice for your audience. It is magic. And I teach you how to do this and amplify social impact. So if you're like, that sounds good, but I don't know what to do, the exact steps, the exact method that I created is inside Amplify Social Impact. Now, I'm going to give you a course tour so you can get behind the scenes of what it's like. So you can see right here, we've got kind of a welcome. This is the home base to get you started. We have a start here module. This is everything you need to set yourself up for success in the very beginning. And then you can see here, there's six modules right now. That seventh module is coming next month. So let's go through each of the modules together, okay? So the first module is the brand launch pad. That brand launch pad is designed for you to create a brand voice, a brand identity, and I'm not talking about your logo, that attracts and peaks the ears and stops the scroll to your potential, your most perfect fit 
donors, customers, clients, and supporters. That's this process. In these modules, I actually walk you through video trainings and I give you the template that I have used for over a decade in my private practice to go through this exercise together. You can create your own brand voice with this template and you can do it solo, you can do it with your executive team, and then this becomes the brand standards, the voice, all of everything you need for your online tone, personality, style. It's so handy for onboarding new team members, staff, interns. Module two is what I call appeals for social action. This is where you learn how to storytell, and this is where you get your time back. Remember yesterday, I talked about this idea of really spending way less time creating social content. That's my goal for you. I don't want you to spend a lot of time spending creating and posting and scheduling and editing social content. In here, I wanna just show you this one. This is called Banking Stories for Impact. This is a game changer, okay? So I teach you this idea of Banking Stories for Impact. You literally have a digital library that you can pull from when you're like, I need a testimonial, I need social proof, I need a stat. Whatever it is you need, you can use it in email, you can use it on social media. You've now done this work ahead of time so you have your time back using this process. I teach you this concept of front-loading captions. So again, we're stopping the scroll, okay? Let's move on to social three or module three. This is where people love to jump in. This is the social street team module, okay? This is the module that teaches you how to create a digital ambassador program of social media influencers and ambassadors and champions to advocate for your organization. I walk you through the entire process, how it works, how to pitch them, what to say to them, what not to say to them, and when they say yes, when somebody says, yes, I will be your social street team member, I'm, I'm really interested in helping your organization. What do you do next? Like that is actually one of the points where a lot of my students get, they come to me and they're like, okay, well, we, we have a couple of influencers and we have a couple of people we can bring into our world, but I'm actually not sure what to tell them. That is in this module. That's where that's going to live. It's everything you need to do. I even tie it all together so you can see it in action. So you can see what it looks like. Now, Module four is going to shift and everything from here on is gonna move. Coming mid-April, you're gonna see the influencer marketing module. That is where we're really gonna take this social street team con concept and add like jet fuel to it, okay? Because I will teach you how to find them, who, what to search for online, where are they, who are the people who are most aligned with your organization. I'm gonna teach you that process, okay? You will learn that in what will be module four, okay, coming soon. Also gonna give you my, my prospect track, tracker so that you stay really clear, really organized in this process. Module four is all about Facebook and Instagram mastery. So if you feel like, hey, we need a little bit of help in this department, how do I create content on multiple platforms? How do I again save time? One of the biggest questions and, and places people get stuck is, how do I get people from Facebook, from Instagram to actually go offline, press the donate button, press the button to go volunteer, to take action? We talk about that in module four. Okay, module five is the campaign launch, four weeks. That's all you need. You don't need six months to plan a big campaign. I want you to replicate this again and again. I want you to start to learn how to rock and roll. I even added this. This was a newer lesson all about the six W. So what do you need for your campaign to stand out online? I walk you through the entire process. I give you this idea of, all right, we've got your social street team. We know we have a campaign coming up. Now what do I do? How do I plan it in four weeks? How do I assemble my dream team with those thought leaders, with those advocates? What do I ask them to do? What should my web donation page look like? What should it not look like, right? Walk you through that in module five. Module six is the post run stretch. You did all of this work. So we wanna make sure that these donors and supporters and customers are not one and done. So we walk through that stewardship piece. Your bonuses live here. And as I said, module, so from here on, this will really be module five, module six, module seven. So it will be seven video modules. And it has everything you need. At the bottom here, I wanna just show you, many times you'll see me link out. You'll see me link out to templates, worksheets, checklists, uh, further reading on this. So if you have questions or you're like, you know what, I need, I need a tracker for this, it's in there. It's in there. So I wanna invite you to join Amplify Social Impact 
take advantage of these never before bonuses. Now is the time. You want to take advantage of the bonuses. You want to take advantage of this quick start. We're going to be doing these live classes together in mid-April for four weeks. It is the best way to set your organization up for success. Now I'm going to share some actual case studies of students who have gone through this program, implemented the methods that I teach, and had major success, major wins, major results from it. Jeannie went through the program, and what I loved about her is she said that she got immediate results following the processes that I teach. What she does is really important that she has a presence online, and this program helped her get that. She actually shared that she signed up for the course, and she loved it, that the advice and actions are ones that she could take right away, and she binge-watched it through the weekend. So she's somebody that joined and immediately went through the videos right out of the gate. And a lot of times people will ask me, how much time do I, does it take to go through the course? How much time does it take to implement? So she went through the course in a weekend, okay? And each module is designed in a way so it's bite-sized, and I like to say you can kind of do it over your lunch one week or something like that, week by week. Or you can take a weekend and just say, you know what, by the end of this weekend, I'm going to have figured this out and I'm going to have a strategy in place to implement. As far as the implementation process, if you spend an hour or two a week, you are going to be rocking and rolling, especially for a street team. We do a beta version. We do an MVP, minimum viable product for that first street team. And then it builds and then it compounds. So your first street team might have three people on it, seven people on it, 11 people on it, one person on it. And then your next campaign, you're going to add to it. Those people don't leave your street team. They stay into in it and it compounds like interest, right? All right, I'm going to share another another case study with you. So Bruce, Bruce, Bruce runs a faith-based nonprofit, and he says that this course far exceeded my expectations. There was not enough space to allow the many fantastic tips and strategies we gained from Amplify Social Impact. Suffice to say that our team of three uses your strategies by meeting twice a week to create and schedule content. This course far exceeded my expectations. The idea of a street team really bolstered involvement, and some of our course supporters and several folks who have been more in the peripheral. We certainly got our money's worth plus. So Bruce is somebody that I want to I want to give a shout out to Bruce because he came, we had several live bonus calls when he was in the program, and he came and asked questions. And one of the questions he asked was really outside of the realm of but be in the fundraising line. So we were talking about major gifts. We were talking about a capital campaign. We were talking about a street team and Bruce's willingness to try. Bruce's willingness to take what I'm teaching and adapt it to fit his organization is why he has seen so much success. Okay, I'm going to share another one with you. Rebecca, who listens to this podcast and might even and might even um be listening right now. Hey, Rebecca, she shared her results. So Rebecca shared that having a presence online is extremely important to us. The templates done for you copy and scroll stopping captions were training were so powerful. Before this course, I wasn't confident in making appeals on social media or how to create relationships with influencers and ambassadors. I would absolutely recommend this course to a friend. Rebecca used this process for a Giving Tuesday campaign. And she was able to 5X year over year her results using this process. So it was a really great comparison and case study of the before and after. And since then, she's run more campaigns, more online fundraisers, and has been able to use this process. And I also want to give a caveat of what she did really, really well, is she said, how does this social street team concept apply to my organization and her lowest hanging fruit, some of her her warmest prospects and and most valuable supporters weren't individuals, they were businesses. So she said, okay, let me go out into the community because we already have a couple of businesses who are willing to share our content and support us. But what if they were willing to be our street teamers? And that's how she built her street team. So I love that she took this and said, let me do my B2B twist. And it has worked beautifully for her. So that's what I've got for you today. If you have any questions about Amplify Social Impact, if you're ready to join, come, come join us at splendidcourses.com forward slash ASI. Now is the time to join 
don't want you to wait until, you know, the timing is right until you have, you feel like you have the right timing, you have the right funding. We have a payment plan specifically for organizations who may not have funding to pay in full for this. So you can pay each month for this program and get immediate access to what you need and start it right away. All right. I'll see you next time. If you believe in the role of reciprocity, just like I do, take a quick moment to rate and review this podcast. I would be so grateful. Tag me in a post on social media and let me know what you think over at Splendid Consulting. It helps this podcast show up in the feed of other change makers and social entrepreneurs just like you. Think you've reached out to everyone in your network? Are you out of ideas to get noticed and get funded? I hear you. That's why I'm giving you a chance to steal my prospect list. Yes, you can generate leads for your nonprofit or impact driven business. Grab my mini training and list delivered to your inbox instantly. Go to splendidcourses.com forward slash prospect.